Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is John Ventura, and I'm a photographer, videographer, and a drummer. Um, on this episode, I'll be showing you guys what's in my camera bag. So yeah, who doesn't love to talk about gear? So, yeah, I'm gonna need my bag. Yeah, so this is the bag. Um, it's kind of big. <laughs> um, I just looked it up because I forgot what well, I remember what brand it is. This is the Ultra Photo Backpack. Uh, this is the Great Explorer version. I'm gonna put the links down below the, the comment, not the comment, the info section below. And I'm gonna put links into the Amazon affiliate links. And hopefully they haven't taken me down yet because I haven't sold anything really. But if you so fancy buying one of the things that are of like this bag, kind of dirty. So the links are connected to Amazon and it's an Amazon affiliate link. So if you buy something from the link, I get some type of commission based. I think I get like cents, I think, for every dollar, I think. I, I'm not sure actually, but essentially you get paid. Um, so that'll help support this channel and my my lifestyle, I guess, of traveling and doing photos and music. So thank you for that. And creating content, most essentially, uh, most importantly. All right, let's get down to business. So in here I have front pocket is a business card stuff. Media creator, photographer, whatever, content creator, whatever you wanna, you know, whatever. Just to connect, contact me and stuff. Um, what else is in here? Some sensor cleaning swabs because every sensor gets dirty. That's just facts of life. And just the fake Zeiss. Because whose lips doesn't get chapped? You know what I'm saying? Your uh, 2018 planner. Um, you got dates in here and stuff. Yeah. So in here, lens pen. Doesn't need that for cleaning lenses. Ba bam. The colored pen because I like pen stuff. Toothbrush, emergency, because fresh breath, right? And just goes in there. The knife for a, another type of emergency. And you can't open your SD card packages. Um, lighter for when you want to burn the SD card for some odd reason. And passport, yeah! To the other side. Ta da! So this bag opens up on the back side or front side. I don't know. <clears throat> the inner side. The underbelly of a turtle. It's not a turtle. But yeah, this is how I pack my stuff. Normally, I would have a laptop in here. Um, but I'm doing some editing right now, so that's not in there. So, let's start with the boring stuff. This is a lens holder, lens filter. Got your NDs, variable NDs. That's missing, I don't know. Um, gotta have those NDs, especially if you're doing video work. This is on my iPhone right now. It should probably have an ND, but what else? Another one, can't have, an, can't have enough ND filters. So, the wedding that I shot, I basically used neither of these lenses. Actually, I used this. Um, but yeah, I normally have two lenses right here. Um, maybe I should do camera bodies, camera body, camera body, lens, lens, mic, audio, batteries, um, S SSD. So yeah, let's break it down. So this is an FD lens. Um, it's a Canon FD vintage lens, and it's a 1.4. So if I use a focal reducer with that, what happens is I get a an equivalent of point. I can't even do math right now. Focal reducer right here. This is a photo. Oh, it's Pixco. 
thought it was Photo DX, but it's Pixco and it's FD to Micro Four Thirds. So essentially, let me open this like this. Essentially, this lens right here, this is a gateway to alternate universe of light capturing. So essentially what that does is reduces not only the focal length. So let's say I have it on this 85, right? So essentially the 85. So I actually did this wrong. So Pixco uh, magnifies the image 0 0.7 times or 0 0.71 times. I'm not sure. I don't think scientifically it's like super accurate. I'm not sure because that I just bought it from eBay. So what it actually does is magnifies the image rather than reducing. I don't know what I was rambling on about. So by magnifying the focal length and the aperture, it's gathering more light and gathering more of the image um, at the same time. So an 85 times 85 times 0.7 is a 59.5. So an 85 is almost in the range of, um, what do you call that? A normal focal length or a standard focal length. Um, and a 1.8 actually becomes a 1.26. So that's pretty cool. Um, what's it? So on a micro four third, it actually, then you have to multiply it times two. So the cheat is it's, so let's say it's an 85 mil and you're putting it on a GH5 with the Pixco, with the booster, just multiply the 85 by 1.4 and you get a 119 mil focal length. It's that simple. So. And if you want to measure how much bokeh you're going to get, because light gathering and bokeh are kind of different. They're related to the f-stop, but they're different, okay? Um, other people argue that that's a big topic. Um, so 1.8 times 1.4, yes, we're doing math, yay. It's 2.5. So if you think about it, on the 85 mil 1.8 i'm getting a 116 with an f-stop 2.5 that's awesome that's more that's deeper than 2.8 but the light gathering so let's pretend it's t-stop i know it's not i know it's not um if it's t-stop or whatever it's 1.2 what that's so much light that's why i can see in the dark and that's why it's my go-to wedding lenses so yeah back at the video sharp and then this is just another accessory bag there's just like allen keys um, USB extensions quarters batteries um, USB drives just in case they don't have airdrop you non Mac users. So, yeah, let's see this guy. So, this is my Rode Video Micro. And again, just to remind you guys the, the links to a lot of this stuff is down below. So, if you want to go check them out, check out the price. Um, because if you buy one of those things, even if you just use the link and then buy something else like a toothpaste, I still get like um, some feedback or some kickback so please do so this is my Rode video micro mic and this thing is great um, I use it not a whole lot but when you're doing a running gun slap it on here connect it right there that's it and you you're ready to record everything so this is great should be using it right now, but I'm showing you guys what it is. This is an awesome headphone. This is a uh, Shure. I actually don't know which version this is. This is for my girlfriend. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah, it's dual, I think. Dual drives, meaning you get more output. Um, basically, just plugs up your ears and you can't hear the outside world. So let's say you're playing drums or guitar or in a concert venue and you wanna hear yourself while you plug these in to your ear. Yeah, monitor, monitor headphones, but on stage. And this is the SD. Ooh, I actually, this is the Vectotech SSD. This is a two terabyte. Um, I have the two Velcros here so I can attach it to my to my laptop back. So essentially I can walk around with this connected to my laptop. Um, this is great. It has sped up my, my editing because if you guys know video editing, it takes like a million years just to finish a clip. So this is my uh, SD card holder. Um, I think I can find the link to my the Amazon affiliate. But yeah, so this is awesome because it's waterproof, shockproof, dustproof. Um, get that micro SD because I use an audio recorder now and use micro SDs. Um, I used to use this for my Sony A6000. If you guys remember those videos, um, I sold that off. But it's a great camera, Sony A6000. You rock. Um, but now since I use the GH5. I use uh, Angel Bird AV Pro SD. The magic about this card is actually this right here. V V90. That's the magic because because of that V90, it allows for my GH5 to record its full capacity. <laughs> Because if you don't have that V90, it'll actually freeze up your your GH5. Um, let's say if I was using this, and or the Lexar, which I was using, and it froze up on me. It got stuck on the loading screen. Like this was, this light was on, and the screen was like doing its red thing, saying that it's recording, but it wasn't, or it just got stuck. So I recommend these. They're expensive but they're also future-proof. Um, I feel like within five years, we'll be using these still on our cameras, not unless you quit photography or digital. That's a thing too. You gotta have these big guys. Gotta clean everything. Gotta clean those lenses. iPhone headphones, gotta need them. Gotta use them. Charger for my laptop. Um, I got these two extra batteries. I use Wasabi Power and they're pretty good actually. They're my backups. Let's say both of my other batteries died because um, I have the external grip, my um, extra battery grip. So if they both die, I can use these while the other one is charging. But I gotta warn you guys that this thing gets hot and don't leave them in your battery or don't leave them in the camera while shooting for extended hours. It doesn't fry for stuff because it just heats up. It's scary. Um, so I use it on my grip only. Yeah, so other cleaning. This is like the cleaning supply section. So I got the Ultra Photo. Ultra, sponsor me. I'm using all your stuff. Peak Design pouch. Uh, yeah. Because I have the Peak Design um, straps. How to use this. Yeah, make sure that's clean. Um, oh yeah, and stuff your bags with all these uh, moisture capture things. Um, they just, they attract cat hair. And, but also moisture. Um, so let's say you're outside and there's some moisture or like you left some kind of cold beverage in here. I don't know why you do that, but let's say you did. That thing kind of helps because moisture, electronics and lenses are not friends. So yeah, this is what, this is the lens I use for the wedding. I use a, the Tamron 28 mil 2.5 and the 85. These are the two main lenses I used actually for the wedding. 
Um, they can see you so well, low light, because I had the focal reducer absorbing more light. So, <laughs> the main thing about this, so, I was using this, right, Pixco FD to 43. So I was using an 85 and a 28. Um, but, I've set my camera, watch this, so, um, can I focus? Yeah, good job. So yeah, so let's do this. So, this is one focal length. This is a, I'm going to jump around. I'm sorry, guys. This is a 16 mil 1.4, okay? So, it doesn't have the focal reducer. So, it's actually multiplied by 2. So, 16 times 2 is 32. Yay, math! Um, so, when you do this... What? What is that? It's multiplied by 1.4. I've set this up, my function one button. See that? What the heck is that? So essentially, I'm getting two focal lengths, so 16 to 32. And then, so no, I'm, I'm getting a 32 focal length and multiply that by two is what? 40, one point by 1 1.4 is one. 44.5, I think. And so, you're not getting a, uh, a reduced, what do you call that? A reduced image. You're just getting an extended range. So, the, this is my uh, Sigma 16 mil, 1.4. It's a beast of a lens. It's big, if you guys can tell. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks very beefy if you just, yeah, with the grip too. It's actually great. It's great. The beast of the camera. So, the reason why I picked that GH5 II is because it's so good at video. Um, I think if you're a full frame user, you're just addicted now. It's the same thing with medium format users. Like as soon as you jump up in, as soon as you jump up in sensor size, you're kind of addicted to it, but you're missing out, man. You're missing out on this. It's so good. You can do like 10 bit, 422, um, 24 frames per second. Um, I think you can, yeah, that's internal. And then you can do 4K, 8-bit, 422, 60, no, 420, 8-bit. Um, so that leaves like a high dynamic range, really crisp, slow motion. And then if you want to go HD, you have up to 180 frames per second. What? That's, that's insane. Yeah. So that's why I like <laughs> using that guy. Um, so my full frame camera is actually this guy. Canon A1. Um, I used to, I just got this recently. I used to use, this is uh, Anita's grandpa's camera, the Canon A1. This thing is awesome. Full frame because that's where full frame came from is uh, how big the film size is, which is 35 mil. Yeah, have fun kids. Keep shooting photos. Keep living that dream. Don't get bored. Bye. So yeah, welcome back. I don't know if I mentioned on the last segment um, that I wanted to shift gears in this channel. Um, what do you want to call this? Video, channel, vlog. Um, but essentially, uh, I want to shift gears to focus in on a topic or a subject rather than going all over the place about video and all that. I, don't, I actually don't think I have a topic 
for this channel. But yeah, I want to hone in on photography. Um, it's something that I've grown to like more and more and more, and I actually wanted to want to focus on it. And yeah, I want this channel to be more focused on that. I know I do a lot of video, um, especially if I'm doing the YouTube channel. Um, so I'll do I'll still do my best in editing. Um, I'm still gonna do videography. But for this channel specifically, um, and I'm always going to play drums, so I'm still going to do that. But for this channel specifically, I want to start honing in, zoning in, focusing on, you know, um, on photography. Because I feel like it'll give a better sense to what you're watching and it'll give a better sense for me what to talk about what to write about because I, I try to what I'm starting to try to do is to write scripts or whatever so, so it's not just all over the place vlogs um, which I don't know if you guys like that uh, comment down below if if you like the random everywhere what's going on inside John's head type videos <laughs> but yeah uh, I want to start Focusing on photography, um, my experience with it, uh, things that I've learned, things that mistakes that I've done, things that I've done well also, and yeah, I think I think that's about it. Um, obviously, photography is gonna obviously photography is gonna deal with um, traveling and lifestyle. Um, my experience. Uh, in this business, self-owned business, freelance life. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'll definitely include, like, if I'm traveling, playing somewhere, whatever, with my drums, um, with my drumming gigs, or do my video, I'll probably include that, but it'll most likely have a photography aspect because I want to keep that I, I just love doing it so can't stop me won't stop like and subscribe I guess likes matter for me emotionally and subscribes matter because duh who doesn't want to get that plaque and <laughs> also uh, thanks for watching um, spending your time I think that was a long-winded video sorry about that and I'll see you next time I should be vlogging a couple more things um, I want to talk about a couple other cameras that I've recently got or I've thrift shopped or whatever and I just want to like dive into it the aspects talk about gear um, talk about composition and all that so yeah thanks guys